Hello, civil engineering and architecture and EDD. So today is an asynchronous lesson because I am doing I-STEP with the juniors. You might be doing I-STEP. If you are, you're not watching this video right now. So let me go over what's expected today. Um, it's similar to what we've already covered, but I just wanted to reiterate it so that you could uh, get that reminder. So when we look at this stuff um, in Canvas, this is the same thing. I'm, for EDD, it'll say something a little different in the agenda, but it's still structural efficiency um, related things. Um, for EDD and civil engineering, we are looking at activity 315. Uh, this is called structural efficiency, I believe, for EDD. EDD has a little bit of a pared down version of this, um, but you're still trying to both classes are stu still doing the same thing. So when you look at this activity, what you'll see is this structural efficiency thing. Now, if you're in CEA, I do encourage you guys, we're going to go through um, the commercial framing system, PowerPoint, and even maybe even writing this design brief. So that is something that is going to be expected for you guys. Now, you can also look at the rubric here for this project. The main idea of the project, though, is to build something that satisfies what we're trying to do here. Now, we are looking for structural efficiency. So if you look at this, which is the last slide on that PowerPoint I was just talking about, well, it's not really the last slide, it's the last meaningful slide. The structural efficiency is equal to the maximum design load divided by the weight of the structure. And if, you're, if you follow the instructions, you can see that the maximum design load is 1,000 grams, and there's some examples of what to do. Please use the materials that are listed there or approved materials. Um, don't start building with something that you're that's in question because I might be like, nah, I don't think so. But some people did ask me about materials, uh, and I said yes, some 3D printed parts, for example, sure. Um, just know that your weight of your structure is the denominator. So as that increases, your structural efficiency will most likely go down, right? So if something in the denominator increases, that means that your ratio, or in this case, the answer is going to decrease. So they have an inverse relationship, whereas the numerator has a direct relationship, meaning as that increases, then your structural efficiency will increase. But that's a fixed number right now. That's a thousand grams. So this is kind of to make up like, hey, it's about the um, cost and efficiency are kind of both very related, as you can see on this slide. So the objective um, the, is to build this structure eight inches with that tolerance and support a thousand grams, have that platform at the top, that four by four inch platform so that you can hold um, the weight. This is specifically for EDD, or for, sorry, for CEA, this rubric, but I do want EDD to be able to look at this thing. So calculations, we obviously are going to calculate the structural efficiency. We're going to write about the conclusions. So like, how, why do you think it worked? Why do you think it didn't work very well? Because we're gonna compare them to other members of the class. You don't have to test this today. Okay, I would like to test these things together next week, but I want to see you, well, hopefully I'm just giving you this time to work on them so that all of the next week that we're in class on the 9th, we can actually just go right into testing these things and laugh as people's break and things like that. So um, CEA, think about this content. So creating, uh, make sure you take pictures of your structure as you build it. So don't just retroactively, oh, I have to take pictures. As it's being built or, or built or constructed, make sure you're taking pictures and there's some reasoning why you're doing the things you're doing. Try to use some of the stuff we've covered in some of the lessons to, uh, hey, that, that one, I'm going to try to triangulate. I'm going to try to create webbing, whatever. Um, use some references and record that stuff. Uh, the other stuff is just like, it's basically writing, like grammar, introduction, that kind of thing. So there's the rubric for this. But... Again, the procedures, you're going to be building this thing. Uh, this right here is not the distance learning uh, version. You can look at the distance learning version if you want to. 
that one's going to be more accurate for us anyway. So that is what we're looking at for this week, making this structure. Be ready to test these structures Monday. I can't, I want, or not Monday, but next Tuesday. So be, have these things ready and made. Spend this week doing that. And uh, let's get these things tested on Tuesday and have a little competition. What we'll do is we'll take the structural efficiency of each um, each person's build. If you're in CEA, we'll take the average of the students in CEA. We'll take the average of students in EDD. And we'll have a little friendly competition. Anyway, um, just to make sure that CEA or EDD is seeing something very similar, down at the bottom of your uh, homepage, do you see the calendar? If you look at structural competition, it's the same kind of thing that you see, okay? Right here. Got it? All right. Get ready. I want to see these awesome builds. All right. Have, have a fun time this week with this project. We don't get to do many of these this year, unfortunately. But uh, go ahead and let's, let's, have a, let's uh, give it your all. Create an awesome efficiency. Anyway, take care. Have a good week.